Hi everyone, it's Yep here today. And we're gonna be playing a life gain deck. We're gonna be talking about how synergy works. So the entire point of this deck is to, you guessed it, gain life. We have cards like Impassioned Orator, which is whenever another creature enters the battlefield, we gain life. Whenever you gain life, put a 1-1 one -one counter. Same with Johnny's Pride Man. So as you can see, the whole goal of this deck is just to gain a bunch of life. Pretty simple, right? So we can play cards like this. And then even though our charm stray may die, he'll block. Nope, we Okay. Now we have a 3-3. So next turn we can go Impassion Dora turn. Hopefully we... Okay, so as you can see, he plays it. Johnny's Pride Man as well. Very common card. Game time. So I think this turn we're gonna go Impassioned Orator. Which gains us massive amounts of like Now I have a 4-4. Four, four. And he already can see. So as you can see, that's sort of how synergy works. I'll play another game. Just to show how it works. So many people conceding today, like geez Louise. It usually takes them forever. A lot of the times they get like a 10 10 and then they like finally concede. I'm like, why now? <laughs> I guess I'm not playing a so that makes sense. Okay, so this is just like a sorcery. If you don't know what. I'm doing. Go check out the video in the description. It's a little late, but still. So, just reminding life gain deck. Flying life link. Life gain, life gain. It's all about getting. You know, like, turn one healer song. Turn two pride mate, and then we swing. And then this is already 3 3. It's pretty good. Playing a similar deck style. Pride mate now. Swing in the air. 3 3. And that's just the whole concept of the deck. It's just to gain a bunch of life. There are cards like this. Tap all the creatures you're about to control. And all your creatures can. This is also a draw mechanic. As well as just gaining life. I think I'll. Uh, I attack in the air. There's more life gain. Now I have a 5 5. And, like, the main thing when life gain is reversing is um, you can gain life faster. I think that's a really key thing. So, we're already beating him in that sense. I think right here is going to concede. He probably didn't get enough mana early. He hasn't played any creature this turn. He has an impassioned orator. Good card, don't get me wrong. But not right now in his situation. From what it looks like. So, I could have easily played a go bond of discipline. Which basically taps all. And gives my creature. So now I... 7 7 3 3 2 2. Like, once this is a 3 3, she'll probably be a 3 3 next turn. Yeah, but I'm gonna be dealing with 12 13 damage next turn. So, like, he's probably screwed. He didn't get enough. Really, that's what I see. Okay, yeah. So now, I tap all these creatures. He'll probably concede here, if he doesn't. His IQ is probably low. <laughs> He's at 3 health. And as you can see, 12 triggers is a lot. Life. So this is the power of life gain decks. It kinda suffers against removal. 
Also, I have double of my starting life, so... There are, there are lands like the Sport Barons and Orzod. No cards like that. Yeah, but he's not coming back from this. But it's not coming over. Really he's so dead. <laughs> How much damage? So, yeah, 20 more damage. that's sort of how synergy works and if you're gonna build a deck try to build it around a concept or a couple cards so I know there are like cycling decks like Boro cycling that's a card in standard I'll show you uh, an adventure deck that works well where is that so it's this deck you get it from the game but it's like so we have cards like Fairy, uh, Guide Mother, Giant Killer. Then we have cards like this where basically you, let's say I play this for its effect. Next turn, I play the card. This card, draw a card. So we have more cards. And then we have like cards that get buffed whenever I play these. Um, the, the creatures, not the the adventures and then we have c copying uh, removal uh, these creatures get plus one plus one counters one one counter every time it enters there are also a couple, couple other cards like this one's really helpful it's a uh, board wipe I use this in a different deck as well so that's kind of the concept of this. As you can see, this is sort of how synergy works. Like, ideally you take out... So one thing that's very important when you're starting to build a deck is like, you want consistency. So this deck has a lot of different cards. Like you have one Primal Might, one Realm Cloak, one, one. So on the off chance that you draw this, it's good, but it makes your deck wavy and inconsistent. So like if you have four edge wall innkeepers, let's say. Four lucky cloakers. Four. Four. If you have like let me show you. So you got like inconsistent decks, or you can have a deck that's four, 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 four. And it really helps, like I have a couple cards in here. This is four. Don't I just have two different sets. But like, there are a couple of cards that we don't need a bunch. Like, do you really need like, four Bond of Disciplines? Or four Legion Judgments? No. But like, you want consistency. So you want four Charm Strays, four Healer Hawks, four Pride Mates, Griffin, Ares, etc. So like, when you're building a deck, just remember you gotta keep it consistent. Um, I think that'll be all. I will see you guys next time. Bye!